Hi, I'm Brett Cox, brettcoxworkshops.com. Uh, master photographer, photographic craftsman certified. I have with me another friend of mine who's also master craftsman certified. I'm Brian Welsh from Hillsborough, Oregon. So we're together because we're doing some training in live, in person with some photographers, but we're in my studio, thought, hey, let's make a video. And you were just reading up. Yeah, so there was this uh, great quote I heard and it, it asked the question, what kind of boxer are you? Now, I'm not a, I'm not a fighter, but I started thinking about this and, and boxing is called the sweet science. And there are some people who throw a lot of jabs and then there are other guys who come out swinging or, you know, maybe you're defensive and maybe you have a specialty like an uppercut. And what made me think about all of this is in our industry, we all have different styles. We all have different um, techniques. And so the analogy rings really true. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about if you were a boxer in this metaphor as a photographer, you know, why you picked your style and, and what yeah. kind of photographer are you? Uh, so when I think about that, one of the fact, one of the things I do when I'm training photographers is I want to find weak spots and turn them into strengths because mm -hmm. I want all of the levels of proficiency to be high. And the phrase I use a lot is we should be proficient in our profession. If this is mm -hmm. something we're doing for a living, right, we should be dang good at it, super proficient as if we're getting paid by somebody else. If we work for, a lot of times we've worked for somebody else. Mm -hmm. You think, would I even do this different? Oh yeah, we do it different if it's somebody else. But because it's my business, I can kind of, right. you know, not work so hard in those areas. So I divide photographers up into usually right brain or left brain, super creative or super technical. And then there's kind of a gradient in between of where we can land. And I want myself as well as the photographers I train to be extremely creative and extremely technical mm -hmm. and be able to handle rain and wind and outdoor and not just be like, like, so you're saying, are you a jabber? Or are you this, right? Some people are like, I'm only a natural light photographer or I'm only a speed light photographer. And it's like, let's know lighting right. so well, we can use any lighting and know how to sculpt people and look them and look amazing inside, outside with studio lights, strobes, speed lights, reflectors, exactly anything, you know, and let's learn how to, the social dynamics of connecting with people to get anyone to relax, no matter their personality. Yeah. You know, so again, I like these metaphors of taking a skill set and transferring it. Um, I play a lot of golf. And you hear sometimes somebody will say, well, I can't play that hole because I only hit the ball this direction, but it, the hole goes the other way. Oh, okay. Well, what See, they I'm really, terrible at golf, so I don't even know. I just go, it's all hard to me. But so the analogy there <laughs> yeah. is, what do you do when you need to use lights different than natural light? You need yeah. to be proficient enough to say, I don't need to do it every day, but when it calls for it, yeah. I can pull off the shot. Yeah. And so some of that might come down to practice, yeah. right? I think a lot of photographers, I think they say, well, I'm not good at it and I never do it. And I don't want to look stupid in front of my client. Yeah. So go out and practice. Yeah. I mean, boxers box on Take some of our training, learn exactly. these things and then practice on your own. Yeah. You know, a, a, a boxing match is on one particular day, but they train for months in advance. Yeah. And so training is also something that we would say is, is super important. So pick an analogy, something you're good at. Maybe it's cooking. Uh, I know you're really good at music. Do you ever practice your music? Yeah. Right. I absolutely do. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, pick something you're good at. If you're a musician or a cook or a boxer or a golfer or a dancer or pick something like that and apply the techniques and all the things that you've done to get good at that onto your photography and you'll raise that level of proficiency that yeah. Brian talked about immediately. Yeah. So find your weak spots. When I teach a week long which I only do about one a year at Texas. I do a week long mm -hmm. workshop with photographers and it's a small group. I want to help them find their weaknesses and then make those into strengths. A lot of times people will be like, well, I'm, I'm able to shoot outdoors, but not indoors. I'm able to shoot in natural light, but not with strobes, or I'm able to shoot, you know, with strobes, but not at night or not at twilight. Right. But what if you have a wedding and it goes too late? Or what if you have, you know, a family portrait and then it's the only time that everyone get together and it happens to be at noon outside you need to be able to, because I've heard a photographer say, well, I just cancel and make them reuse. It's like, no, you need to be able to sometimes pull that fat out of fire and get something amazing at noon or something amazing at 11 p.m. There's times when you need to make all light situations work in your favor and not just be only amazing in this certain segment where everything happens to work. Exactly. Have the skill set to handle any situation and then align the stars in your favor so you don't have to always handle problems.
Yeah. 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 Then through good scheduling. And I mean, we yep. could go on and on and on. But again, just kind of take some of these these concepts and apply them. And I'd love to see you at one of our workshops coming up in the near future. So hopefully this inspired you, gave you something to think about. And we look forward to the next time we can talk to you. All right. Until next time, America. <laughs>